Music. It affects all people on an instinctive level. I believe it has the power to inspire change like no other art form. My name is Steve Chandra Savli, and the musicians that influence me most not only communicate powerful messages of change, they work in their communities to make that change happen. Music of Resistance will bring you stories of unique musicians. They give a voice to the struggle of their communities. They challenge the establishment. But what makes them unique is their need to transmit their message through their music. We start the series with my own band, Asian Dub Foundation. The year was 1993. The British National Party, the BNP, was a fringe anti-immigration party in search of angry white voters. Voters frightened by the waves of South Asians who were calling the East End their home. Young Asian men from the streets of East London faced a bleak future, gangs, crime and violence. This community clearly needed its own voice. Music has an important role to play in puncturing the global consciousness in a way that other art forms, other forms of conversation and other political forms of political activity can't. And for me personally, it's the best way to get my views across. I'm not a great politician. I'm not a great organiser or a bureaucrat. My message is in the music that I play and the music that we in the band play. And I think that's just as valid as any other form of expression, conscious expression. From this very spot, the ultra-nationalist British National Party used to have a street stall where they sold their newspapers for nearly 20 years. So, I mean, you're telling me that this place has uh, seriously changed. What was it like then when you, were, when you were growing up here? Well, when I was growing up, uh, as far back as I can remember, um, none of this, all these shops, all these bars, nothing was really here. For hundreds of years, Brick Lane has been the destination for new immigrants moving to London. This made it a target for fascists. In the 1970s, Bangladeshis like Akhtar's parents started moving in. The BNP's presence here was a potent symbol meant to intimidate. When Kudus Ali got attacked. Kudus Ali, who was Kudus Ali? Kudus Ali was a Bangladeshi um, young lad who used to live near Stepney, Cannon Street, and um, he was actually beaten up by some racist guys, a big gang of them actually, and he ended up having brain damage and things like that. When Akhtar's talking about an event that inspired one of Asian Dub Foundation's first songs. It was a racially motivated, brutal attack that sparked outrage. The song allowed us to express this outrage to a larger audience, which in turn created more awareness. Loads of police, and we were just, Sunday came, and we came to exactly where the BMPs are standing, you know, drive them out really and truly, and then it started dying down after that. And, um, you know, a lot of the British white community started moving out as well after that. Right, right. You know, they started moving out, and then there was much more Asian Bangladeshi people moving in slowly. And now this is Bangla Town. You know? Yeah, but it's more than Bangla Town, is it? It's also kind of like art town. As it well. has actually. In the, in the last three, four years, actually, it's become very trendy. Very, very trendy. A lot of artists, a lot of art design shops here and there, people selling paintings. It's, nice. it's, it's quite, quite an amazing transformation. Over the last 15 years, I've watched the East End change very quickly, and I've seen the leaders of the extreme right change the way they sell their message. As Brick Lane becomes fashionable and the area becomes less affordable to new generations of immigrants, they, like the battleground, have moved further east, and so have the BNP. Their recent electoral gains in London have been made possible by votes from the boroughs of Barking and Dagenham. They may not pose the same violent threat to Asian and African youth, but in my mind, winning seats in local elections makes them even more dangerous. This is Green Street, the most diverse place in Britain. This is the kind of place the BNP demonise. They'd be happy if what you see here was wiped from the face of Britain. Before we go off, we will make an announcement from the truck that we don't want any stopping. 
The rising popularity of the BNP is enough to bring people out in protest. And alarm bells rang when, for the first time, a BNP member was elected to the General London Assembly. The faces have changed, but I'm glad to see that there were people around making the link between anti-racism and music. And at least in the marchers' minds, music is an inseparable force in the fight against fascism. Oh, yeah, you got an album coming out? Yes, we have. And and we want to reconnect to with all this stuff. You Good know? stuff. Yeah, we need to. I'm glad they made a nice effort to keep the office yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's live. Why is it do you think that music is so effective here? Why isn't it like love poetry, you know, hate racism? What we are trying to do is we're trying to reach as many, particularly young people, that's why it's called Love Music, young people as we possibly can and will them to an anti-fascist, anti-racist message. And the truth of it is the one thing that the vast majority of young people like is music and love and respect. And therefore, for us, music is a tool that reaches people. And I think music's always been used to represent, in its best form anyway, represent progressive uh, movements and particularly anti-racism. The, the level of the threat of the BNP at the moment, especially here in London. I, I think the fact that they got a elected representative in the London, uh, uh, the London Assembly is probably the biggest warning we've ever had in, in, this, in this city. I mean, I know they only missed it by 0.3%, but there is a fundamental difference between winning a seat and not winning. Uh, and that, I think, creates a massive problem for us because it gives them legitimacy. It gives them finances and respectability, which they've been craving for for years and years and years. And that, I think, opens up a new danger for all people of, of, of London. And I think we're going to rule the day that we let them, let them get in. In Western societies, music isn't as political as it once was. These days it seems that rampant celebrity culture and a throwaway sensibility have made it fashionable for most groups to say nothing. Love music, hate racism is working to change that. Today the British National Party has over 50 elected politicians and it says the European parliamentary elections are next. Rebuilding local activism is fundamental to fighting this reality. And Love Music Hate Racism's actions are admirable, but I can't help feeling that we still need some fresh approaches to this problem. In a Britain where immigration issues have moved way beyond a simple black-white debate, I'm struggling to come up with a truly effective solution. A rainy day in London hadn't deterred the more determined protesters. I think it's been excellent. I've been very impressed with the vibrancy, with the youth of it. I think, uh, we've had some really uh, bad presence of Nazis in Glasgow. It's the first time we've had a presence of the Nazis there for uh, possibly a decade, I think, uh, doing paper sales in town. That's why we've been decided to come on this march today, because, you know, we're seeing in our own communities the effects that um, the propaganda of the British National Party and other racist institutions are having, dividing communities that were, like, you know, the heartlands of multicultural Thank you, sisters and brothers. By the way, it should be me showing appreciation for you. Because every time I get desperate, that's progress. Asian Dub Foundation were formed in 1993 as a response to the growing threat of the fascist British National Party in the East End of London. I never would have imagined that 15 years later I'd be here at a rally against the same fascism, only this time it's even stronger. Feels like the sky gets 